morning, teachers and friends. How are you today? I hope that everyone is well. May God's love and blessings continue to be with us throughout this day. Before we start our lessons, let us listen to some of God's words. First, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for your never-ending love in our lives. Thank you for blessing us so that we can still wake up this morning to do all of our activities. Now, we are about to listen to some of your word. Please bless us and give us your wisdom, so that we can not only listen, but also do your commandments every day. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Today's devotion is taken from Genesis chapter 21, verse 2. Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. The title of today's devotion is Promises, Promises. When people say with a sigh, Promises, promises. It's often when they've been disappointed by someone who failed to keep a commitment. The more it happens, the greater the sadness and the deeper the sigh. Have you ever felt that God doesn't keep His promises? It's an attitude that can subtly develop over time. After God promised Abraham in Genesis 12, verse 2, I will make you a great nation. 25 years elapsed before the birth of his son Isaac. During that period, Abraham questioned God about his lack of a child, and he even resorted to fathering a son through his wife's handmaiden. Yet, through the ups and downs, God kept reminding Abraham of his promise to give him a child, while urging him to walk faithfully with him and believe. When we claim one of God's promises in the Bible, whether it is for peace of mind, courage, or provision of our needs, we place ourselves in His hands and on His schedule. As we wait, it may at times seem as if the Lord has forgotten us, but trust embraces the reality that when we stand on the promise of God, He remains faithful. The assurance is in our hearts and the timing is in His hands. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for the morning devotion that we have listened earlier. May your words be engraved inside our hearts and we can do it in our daily lives. Teach us, O Lord, to faithfully wait for your promises and to walk together with you every day. God, today we pray for our friend Ariel Obaja from 11A, for today is his birthday. May in this new year of his life, blessings upon blessings be given unto him. May you walk beside him through everything that he faces in his life. We pray that each and every day he could love you more and more. Dear God, we would also like to pray for our studies. Please bless us while we are studying, so that we could study diligently and pay attention to our teachers. Please bless our teachers, so they could teach us with your wisdom and patience. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Our morning devotion is done. Now, we will start our lessons. May God bless you all.